In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a particles transition using standard effects only. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. Without any further ado, let's dive right in and create a new comp, which we name Particles. HD resolution, let's make it 5 seconds long. Then let's create Particles. We add a new solid, Particles. Then we search for CC Particle Systems 2 in the Effects and Presets window and add it to the solid. We want to create a particle explosion. So first of all, let's animate the birth rate. At seven frames, it is zero. We set a keyframe. At 10 frames, it is five. At 11 frames, zero again, which creates kind of an explosion. We set longevity to four seconds. We want the particles to live longer. In physics, let's animate the velocity. In producer, by the way, you can adjust the size and position of the emitter, which is fine like it is. So the velocity is 1 at 7 frames. Then the particles speed up to 40 at 24 frames. We select the two keyframes, open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve. Slow down the beginning, speed up the end and create this ramp. All right, let's take care of the particles. First of all, let's change the type into bubble. Birth size around 0.5. Death size around 8. Let's increase the size variation to around 80%. We set the opacity map to oscillate, which creates flicker. In case you were wondering, we don't want any gravity, of course. That's much better, right? We could adjust the random seed, cause why not? And let's change both colors to white. I don't like how the particles look like, yet. Well, <laughs> they look like bubbles. Let's duplicate the solid. And the only thing we change here is, we set the particle type to shaded sphere, which makes them look even worse. But if we reduce the opacity of the solid to 50%, they suddenly look great. Slightly more covering edges, more transparent inside. Next, we select the particles comp in the project window. Drag it onto the comp symbol down here to add it to a new comp, which is the actual transition comp. First of all, we go to time and enable time remapping, which creates two keyframes. We set a new keyframe at nine frames another one at 4 seconds and 10 frames, when all the particles are gone. If we move this keyframe here to the left, to 2 seconds, we speed up the animation. You can see the result in the speed graph. This part between the two keyframes is way faster. And this last part is way slower because we stretched it, which doesn't matter, because we don't need it anyway. Let's slow down the beginning and build a ramp, so that the animation speeds up till the end. That's how you can adjust the timing of animations you already animated. What if there's a place for everything you need to create stunning videos? MotionArray.com has video footage, music, sound effects, templates and plugins for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Which is awesome, because it saves you a lot of time and money. It's one subscription for all. Pay once, use it as much as you want. Subscribe through the link in the description and get $50 off. MotionArray.com, better start now. But first, let's finish our transition. We need to refine the particles by adding a glow to the comp. We increase the glow radius to around 80. Then we add tritone and change the midtones, let's say, into a bright yellow which creates these nice, slightly colored edges. Finally, we slightly blur them by adding a fastbox blur. Blur radius, just like iterations, 3. Then we fade out the particles at 1 second. Set an opacity keyframe. At 1 second and 8 frames, we set the opacity to 0. Now, we duplicate the comp and delete all the effects. We duplicate the particles comp in the project window. Open the new comp and set the birth and death size to 0,1. 
and change the random seed to let's say 200 for both solids. We created new small particles. Next, we go back into our transition comp and replace the top particles comp with the new particles comp by dragging it onto the comp while holding Option or Alt if you're working with a PC. Then we add echo to the upper particles comp. Set the echo time to minus 0, 0, 0, 002, number of echoes to 150, and decay to 0, 08. Let's move the big particles one frame to the right and check it out. And that's why we created the smaller particles, to add some light streaks. Finally, we need a mask which reveals the footage. We add a new solid, color white, and name it mask. Next, we use the ellipse tool to add a small circular mask around the center. Awesome, hit the right spot. We adjust the start point and set a mask keyframe at 10 frames. At one second, we scale the mask up so that it covers the whole screen. We open the graph editor and slow down the beginning of the animation. Speed up the end. We move it to the bottom. Awesome, the timing seems right. Next, we grab the footage we want to reveal and add it below the mask. We use the mask solid as luma mat for the footage. We duplicate the mask layer, make the layer visible. We go into the mask property, duplicate the mask, subtract it. We expand the bottom mask by minus 100 pixels and add a mask feather of around 150 pixels. That's like a soft white frame around the footage. At the bottom, add your first scene. Make sure to check out the links in the description and the free project file. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't wanna miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye guys.